everybody, happy Halloween, and I'm coming at you with the Creatures of the Night book tag. I was tagged by Jordan at Jordan Journals. Creatures of the Night book tag I think has been around for like a long time, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Also, disclosure, I don't read a lot of books with these like creatures in it. I realized I had a really difficult time trying to figure out this tag. A really difficult time. Like a lot. So I had to pick some cliche answers, and some of them I had to cheat on. I have no apologies for being a softie when it comes to like scary creature things and books. Meh. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Creatures of the Night book tag on Halloween. Go! First one is a book with a vampire. I'm gonna pick Bite Me by Christopher Moore. I actually haven't read this book, but I've read other books by Christopher Moore. I think he's hilarious and a fantastic author. His satire is fantastic. His parodies are even better. And he's so smart. He's written other books such as Fool and Lamb and The Serpent of Venice, which are the ones I have read. They all have to do with Jesus and Shakespeare. Not all of them. That's confusing. Uh, never mind. Anyway, Bite Me is about vampires and has vampires in it. And yeah. I do hope to read these one day if I can gather up the courage because I think he's hilarious and if you like humor you should definitely check out him. The second one is werewolves. Rawr. I have to go with Twilight or really New Moon for this one. I don't have New Moon in my room so we're holding up Twilight because that's literally the only book I could think of that had werewolves in it. Unless you count Wolf from Scarlet but he's not technically a werewolf he's just like genetically modified and these are like actual werewolves with Jacob and the clan and stuff and yeah. This is my signed copy. I met her once. I had to duct tape it together. See, it's signed. Yeah. But it's old. It's been well loved. I'm not gonna lie, I am a fan of the series. But I, I read Twilight before there was a new moon, so I call hipster on that. Question number three has a pick a book with zombies. My brains. I haven't read any books with zombies. None. I can think of zero. This many. I tried reading The End Games by T. Michael Martin because I love T. Michael Martin's vlog and I think he, he is a, a very inspirational man and I enjoy that but his books are too scary for me and I don't like that there's a five-year-old kid that's a sci survival. D no. It's just too much of a survival cliche for me of like the 16-year-old teenager has to take care of like the under six-year-old sibling of sorts. No. I just, it was too scary. I, I maybe got like two chapters in and I'm like, I'm done! No thanks! I, I mean, if you like this style, you should totally check him out. Because like I said, I really like T. Michael Martin. Anyway, yeah. Zombies. Maybe? Sure. Question number four is a ghost. Boo! Now this one I can actually do. There's like a lot with like ghosts and stuff in them. One of my favorite books with a ghost in it is The Secret Life of Sparrow Delaney by Susan Harper. I love this book. It's so endearing and wonderful and I need to find a copy of it. It's about a young girl who can speak to ghosts. She's the seventh daughter of the seventh daughter and she's got lots of really cool skills and has to like help this ghost boy out with his family and along the way meets his brother and it's just really great. It's a really cute ghost story without being super scary. Question number five is a witch. Insert magical spell casting sound effect here. While I could have picked anyone from the Harry Potter universe, I went a little outside the box here and instead picked Quentin from Lev Grossman's The Magicians. I've talked about this book on my channel before. People say it's like a grown up Harry Potter, but it's not. And there's a college for mu magic that Quentin gets accepted into, and it's very much about the finding the ordinary and the extraordinary, and things being not as what they seem, in the sense of living up to expectations, etc. Lev Grossman is a genius. I think he's just wickedly smart. He went to Harvard and Yale. Like, come on now. Okay, if you are reading the Dresden Files series, or are, like, wanting to, this is a huge spoiler, so mute me until I, like, do this or something. Go on. So the next question has to do with fairies and fae, and um, I'm picking Molly Carpenter from um, the Dresden File series. For those of you who know, Molly gets turned into um, w one of the fae from the Winter Fae, and it's sad and just hurts your heart like a lot when that happens to her, but she's one of my absolute favorite characters, and I still can't fault her for it because it wasn't her fault. I adore her. I think she's full of courage and amazingness, and she takes this twist of hers with such grace and still figures it out and manages to be kick butt awesome. I'm done, unmute me. Okay, this next one was like find a demon. Uh, and I kind of cheated on this one because she's not really a demon, but she's kind of representative of the devil and that's Cat from East of Eden. If anybody's read East of Eden, you know, <sighs> you know about this woman. Ooh, that's how I feel about that. She's not really a demon because this is not supernatural, but 
I consider her such in my book and she can be argued as symbolic of it, especially of the devil and temptation and there's a, symbolically she's a demon. So that I'm counting it. Yeah, cat, east of Eden. Uh-huh. Getting all metaphorical up in here. So this next one is also a spoiler, so wait for the frantic hand movements when I'm done. The next one has to do with an angel. Ah. So then the angel that I'm picking is Akiva from Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I have not finished this series. I read it back when the second one came out. Again, angels and demons are not my thing, but the, I mean, this one's pretty cool. It's got a great love story in it. And um, I think it's an interesting concept. Like I was totally hooked at the beginning of it with the teeth collecting and the blue hair that grew naturally out of her head. And yeah, so I really like it, but I haven't just had a chance to finish it. So that would be my angel that I would pick. Just flailing, unmute me again. And for Alien, I wanted to pick somebody like Superman, but I realized I didn't read a lot of books with Superman in it. So, I mean, I could do like Lois Lane, Fallout, because she talks to Smallville guy, who is totally Superman, who's an alien. So, yeah, let's go with that one. I'm gonna go with uh, Smallville guy, because <laughs> from uh, Lois Lane's Fallout by Gwenda Blonde, which I'm really excited for this sequel. I just think Gwenda Blonde is a wonderful author, and I adore this book. I need to get a copy of it, because I haven't actually bought it yet. And uh, yeah, I'll pick Smallville guy, who she chats with online. Wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, it's Superman. Now we have favorite superpowered human, and I am going with Max. Apparently the second book just wanted to jump off the shelf because that's what happened there. I'll pick it up. It apparently wants to be in the video, so yeah. Maximum Ride, who has wings, and if you're gonna read this series, read only the first three because they're the only ones worth reading. I promise. And then last but not least, the added bonus question from Trina that gave to Jordan is your favorite cyborg robot alien person, and I gotta go with Cinder from Cinder, which I don't actually have because my cousin still has, borrowed from me. So I can't think of any other book without a read with robots in it either. I just feel like I was kind of lacking in some of my answers to this tag, but hey, I tried. You know, that's a big deal to try, but I realized I don't read a lot of supernatural stuff like that. You know, I have read some, like I tried the City of Bone series, didn't like that so much. Tried like Vampire Diaries, didn't like those so much. Maybe I'm just not a big fan of this genre. Or maybe I need more recommendations. Hey, can you recommend some stuff down below? So if you have any books that you want to recommend with these cast of eclectic creatures of the night in them. Leave them down in the comments below and I'd love to hear about them. I don't know who's done this tag because this is kind of a really old tag. A uh, bookish babbler can do this one. I think a simple cup of tea will enjoy it as well. Both of you, go for it. Until next time guys, bye! One of my favorite books with a ghost is The Secret Life of Sparrow de Blanc. Oh, and Creatures of the Night tag, book on Halloween, woohoo! Actually, I lied. There's two books on here that I haven't read, but that's okay. Um, as I just look at my first question. Go back on the shelf. There we go.